Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the differences between dementia and delirium. First of all, delirium is defined as an acutely disturbed state of mind, characterized by restlessness, illusions, and incoherence. Bear in mind, though, that this can be associated with hyperactivity as well as hypoactivity. So what is the difference between delirium and dementia? The mnemonic we're going to use is OCD CAMPS. The O stands for the onset, which is typically rapid in delirium, within hours to days, while in dementia it's over months and years. C is for the course. Delirium is often fluctuating, meaning the patient may be quite settled at some points and more agitated in others. Typically, there's the sundowning phenomenon, where patients with delirium become more agitated towards the evening. In hypoactive delirium, this is harder to appreciate, however. Dementia, on the other hand, gets progressively worse. Next, we have D for duration, which in delirium is mostly days to weeks and is reversible, although it can last months in causes such as liver failure. In dementia, the duration is again much longer, months or years, and in this case is irreversible. The second C is for consciousness, which is usually altered in delirium, while in dementia they can be clear, although of course this can be affected greatly in dementia too. A is for attention, which again can be altered in both dementia and delirium, but in delirium there is a significant impairment typically present, while in dementia the attention may be somewhat normal, given that overall dementia is mostly associated to memory loss, while delirium heavily features a lack of concentration and inattention. M is for memory, in delirium, the immediate recall is usually impaired, while longer-term memory may be quite good. In dementia, however, the immediate recall is often normal. P is for psychomotor changes, which, as we mentioned in delirium, can be hyperactive or hypoactive, whereas in dementia, psychomotor disturbances are not usually present. Finally, we have the S for sleep-wake cycle, which again can be altered in both but is often significantly different in delirium, often a complete reversal of the sleep-wake cycle is present.